my lovely readers welcome to living the tales with me priyanka i hope you're doing great if you like reading with me do not forget to like subscribe share and turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time i post a new story Stories about a boy from China who got in trouble because of his big long name. Let's find out as we read Tiki Tiki Tembo. If you have a copy of this book, please go get it so you can read along with me. Tiki Tiki Tembo, retold by Arlen Mosel, illustrated by Blair Lent. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, it was the custom of all the fathers and mothers in China to give their first and honored sons great long names. But second sons were given hardly any name at all. In a small mountain village, there lived a mother who had two little sons. Her second son she called Chang, which meant little or nothing. But her first and honored son, she called Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa Rambo, Charibari Ruchi, Pepperi Pembo, which meant the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. Every morning, the mother went to wash in a little stream near her home. The two boys always went chattering along with her. On the bank was an old well. Don't go near the well warned the mother or you will surely fall in the boys did not always mind their mother and one day they were playing beside the well and on the well when Chang fell in tiki tiki tembo no sa rambo cherry berry root shape berry pembo ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Most honorable mother, Chang has fallen into the well. The water roars, little blossom. I cannot hear you, said the mother. Then, Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa Rambo, Cherry Berry Ruchi, Pip Berry Pembo, raised his voice and cried, Oh, most honorable one, Chang has fallen into the well. That troublesome boy, answered the mother, ran and get the old man with the ladder to fish him out. Then, Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa Rambo, Cherry Berry Ruchi, Pip Berry Pembo, ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to the old man with the ladder and said, Old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. Will you come and fish him out? So, said the old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. And he ran as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well. Picked up little Chang and step over step, step over step, brought him out of the well. He pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. And pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. And soon Chang was just good as ever. Now for several months, the boys did not go near the well. But after the festival of the eighth moon, they ran to the well to eat their rice cakes. They ate near the well. They played around the well, they walked on the well, and Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa, Rambo, Charibari, Ruchi, Pepperi, Pembo fell into the well. Chang ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Oh, most honorable mother, Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa, Rambo, Charibari, Ruchi, Pepperi, Pembo has fallen into the well. 
The water roars, little one. I cannot hear you. So little Chang took a deep breath. Oh, mother, most honorable. He panted. Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa, Rambo, Charibari, Wuchi, Pip Peri Pembo has fallen into the well. Tiresome child, what are you trying to say? said his mother. Honorable Mother, Cherry, Berry, Rambo, Tiki, Tiki, he gasped. Pip, Pip has fallen into the well. Unfortunate son, surely the evil spirits have bewitched your tongue. Speak your brother's name with reverence. Poor little Chang was all out of breath from saying that great long name. And he didn't think he could say it one more time. But then he thought of his brother in the old well. Chang bowed his little head clear to the sand, took a deep breath and slowly, very slowly said, Most honorable mother, Tiki, Tiki, Tem, Bo, no, sa, rem, bo, chari, bari, root, chi, pip, peri, pembo is at the bottom of the well. Oh, not my first and honored son! Higher of all I possess, run quickly and tell the old man with the ladder that your brother has fallen into the well. So Chang ran as fast as his little legs would carry him to the old man with the ladder. Under a tree, the old man with the ladder sat bowed and silent. Old man, old man, shouted Chang. Come right away. Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa, Rambo, Cherry Berry, Ruchi, Pip Perry, Pembo has fallen into the stone well. But there was no answer. Puzzled, he waited. Then with his very last bit of breath, he shouted, Old man with the ladder! Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rambo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pip Berry Pembo is at the bottom of the well. Miserable child, you disturb my dream. I had floated into purple mist and found my youth again. There were glittering gateways and jeweled blossoms. If I close my eyes, perhaps I will again return. Poor little Chang was frightened. How could he say that great long name again? Please, old man with the ladder, please help my brother out of the cold well. So, said the old man with the ladder, your mother's precious pearl has fallen into the well. The old man with the ladder hurried as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well. And step over step, step over step, out of the well, with the little boy in his arms. Then he pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. And pumped the water out of him and push the air into him. But little Tiki Tiki Tembo, Nosa, Rambo, Charibari, Ruchi, Pip, Peri, Pambo had been in the water so long, all because of his great long name, that the moon rose many times before he was quite the same again. And from that day to this, the Chinese have always thought it wise to give all the children little short names instead of great long names the end thank you so much for watching and reading along with me